goes for the toss, who likes to call out. Tails. And it's tails way. One needs to break. Ronnie O'Sullivan walking out to a packed house. Absolutely second nature for him. Tell you what, though. First frame. Of course he's favourite tonight. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. This is by no means a foregone conclusion. Although it's been under the radar somewhat, Stephen Hendry, Graham Dodd has actually had a really good season in terms of accumulating ranking points, and he pushed Judd Trump very hard in the semi-finals of the German Masters only last Saturday. Yeah, it's a strange... Enigma, really, Graham Dock, because he seems to disappear for months, even a year, and then all of a sudden he hits a, a vein of form like this season, and he starts getting to the business end of all the tournaments. So, as you said, he's got a, he's got a good chance tonight if he keeps that form up. I said if Liang Wenbo would have held himself together in that deciding frame. He'd have beat Ronnie last night. But what also happens so often is when the better the opponent plays, it seems to make Ronnie play even better. It's a repeat, this of the 2004 World Championship final. Now, on paper, O'Sullivan won that one very comfortably indeed, 18-8. But, you know, Dot won the first five frames. If he does that tonight, Ronnie's on the way home. I think Graham Dot's a better player now than, than even when he won the World Championship. He plays a more aggressive... Brandon Snooker he won that World Championship. Well, he didn't have a century break in the final, did he? He's a much more aggressive player now than he was then. I've seen a few breaks, break-offs in this tournament where the black's been tied up. It's completely in the open at the moment. left-hand side, check side to avoid the cue ball colliding with the, the bunch of reds. Well, yellow to this right corner would be a, an aggressive shot. He's eyeing it up. Easy just to tuck up behind the yellow. The snooker would be awkward because there's loose reds all around the, the pack, so... Playing the aggressive shot. he stayed down there it would have suggested it was perhaps borderline going in but it went in right into the heart what a competitor so determined and feisty four 
for me, the best tournament that Graham Dot ever played wasn't when he won the World Championship. It was a year later. He won the 2007 China Open. Playing beautiful snooker. And in that, in the semi-finals, he overcame O'Sullivan, 6-2. 11. If he's going to win tonight, this is where he's really going to have to go to work. Make the most of these opportunities. Score heavily. Nineteen. Twenty. One of the recollection of history between these two in that 2006 World Championship at the Crucible in the semi-finals. Dodd unbelievably beat O'Sullivan 17-11. The unbelievable part was he won all eight frames in the third session. Completed a session whitewash. Twenty eighth. That was the famous match, of course, where when it was completed, O'Sullivan gave his cue to a member of the audience. <clears throat> so Graham hasn't made the most this opportunity, so good safety shot required. Try and get somewhere behind green and brown. Brain dot, 35. The linchpin of the dot game plan is not to make life easy. Make O'Sullivan work for everything. Foul and a miss. <coughs> Graham dot seven. That was out of kilter.
Point. Nice angle in the black. You can play a little cannon into the main bunch here. Well, that's okay. Eight. Pops this red. And you can see there's another red in the middle of the five and two reds that look pretty close to being a plant as well to the left corner. So he'd be disappointed to not win the frame this visit. Oh dear. Framed off. You could hear Eight. the gasp when he hit it. He's known on the circuit as Wee Dotty and being Wee there didn't help. points ahead a very useful lead one has to say but the balls are nicely placed if Sullivan gets a chance that 50 points could very rapidly be eroded erased Not the sweetest hit, that. Short of the ball climb.
pretty subdued start from Ronnie O'Sullivan so far. It's not really hit many quality shots yet. Another safety hit a little bit too thin, in and out of bulk. It's left a pot to the right corner. He's not even had a pot to go at yet, Ronnie O'Sullivan. for this in the left corner and screw the cue ball back to safety and be on the brown should he get the pot. Well, in fact, he's just stunned the cue ball. Which I'm a little bit surprised at. It's a small sample average shot time for O'Sullivan. 29 seconds. That will definitely reduce as the match progresses. was a complete and utter misjudgment and even then he's been lucky to knock the black safe one If the black was on its spot here, it would be so Seven. much easier to develop those two clusters of reds close to the top cushion. Eighth. Fourteen. The three reds that are behind the black spot. The loose one will go to the right corner pocket. They'd be looking for an angle here. 21. I would suggest on the pink or blue to possibly move something. Play a little cannon on the two reds that are on their own and still be on the one to the right corner. Beautiful. It's a little dab of right hand side when the cue ball hits the cushion, just nudges the red out. 28. More than agreeable start for Tom Ford 29. on the other table. With a break of 69, he's taken a 1-0 lead over Gary Wilson. shot in this frame if he's looking taking this red on you can see it clearly goes but he won't be able to avoid the cannon on the two reds Thirty five. lovely pop Ronnie Sullivan does. 
He comes to the table, but doesn't look like a great chance to win the frame in one visit. But somehow he manages 22. to negotiate it into being so. Just an absolute genius at moving that cue ball around, developing reds into potable positions. This, you would think, is the big shot. The last red is pretty easy near that far left corner. Well, not for the first time in this tournament. We see balls that I thought were going to go in and don't. Hit that pretty well. Neil Robertson had a red to middle this afternoon. Myself and Neil Folds were convinced it was going to fall in, and it didn't. Cloth and the table is now four days old. So a few matches played in it, lots of frames, so maybe at the beginning of the week that might have still gone in. Looks like he's going around the table. If he just drops a brown in to leave a longer distance red, he's got to be careful not to snooker himself with a brown when it's respotted. Going around the table, he's got to negotiate middle pockets, the pink. Well, Foul. I didn't think that corner pocket was going to cause any problems. Only was solving four. Last couple of minutes, Stephen, rapidly fluctuating fortunes. It's a little bit unlucky, Graham, you have to say, to put that second last red and not land straighter on the brown. One. Well held, O'Sullivan just taking a peek at the scoreboard. Four. Arrives on the colours, five in front, so doesn't need that awkward black. Six. Now for the first three quarters of this no. frame's duration, Ryan O'Sullivan wasn't really a part of it. He's going to take it. 13. And I think, in many respects, winning a frame like this will do him more good than making a century. 18. <laughs> Fighting effort. 24. And the first turn. Could have gone either way, but the in off scuppered Graham Dot. Ronnie O'Sullivan draws first blood. That is young Tom, eight years of age. Earlier this evening, he was up in the queue zone and he potted his first ball. Congratulations, Tom. Well done. Contrary to popular belief, playing snooker is not the sign Rain of a misspent rip. youth. Stephen Hendry's here to tell you that.
as red is on to the right corner. You tend to err on the side of hitting these thin. But it's obviously better when it goes in the middle of the pocket. You miss them thick. You lose the cue ball down that end of the table. One. Unfortunately for Ronnie, the cue ball has just travelled a little bit too far. Ronnie O'Sullivan, one. Touching ball. Touching ball called by the referee, Jan Shears, which greatly increases O'Sullivan's options. There's Jan. No. Sixteen. Seventeen. Looks pretty focused. Up for it. Yeah, you could tell his reaction to winning that match last night. How badly he wants a deep run in this tournament. Twenty-four. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 24. O'Sullivan's 19th on the one-season standings. Of course, the top 16 on that list to get into the Players' Championship. If he wins tonight, he would be, on the very latest numbers, exactly 16th. If he does go into the Players' Championship, 16th on the list, he would play Judd Trump in the first round. Trump O'Sullivan in the first round. <coughs> of course, this isn't the last chance saloon. He's entered the shootout in Watford in a couple of weeks' time. And he's also playing next week at the Welsh Open. Zhang Jian Kang, his opponent in the first round there. Yeah. 
the patient, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Really good to see. Not for his opponents. But it shows his level of determination. And with his skill, allied to determination, that normally equates to silverware. Red going over the ball pocket adds to the jeopardy of the shot. Patience went out the window there. Taking that plant on. It's left Graham. Opportunity. Test the cue in these. Looks pretty straight to the yellow pocket. One. Test of Kuhn and he passed it. Six. Seven. Fourteen. Twenty two. Nice shot to open the remaining reds. 23. We're in a safe position. <coughs> He's going to need one of the two reds that are in the bulk end of the table on each cushion. to go and win the frame of this visit. We 
Yeah, she's having a look at the pink spot there, I think, is reluctant to pot the pink because it might tie up one or both of those two reds around the pink spot. That was a good solid pot right in the middle of the pocket. Right near the right middle pocket. I was going to say, he may play a little can just to nudge it. On the screen it looks like it's right over the middle, but I thought he may play off two cushions. 34. Just a little nudge on that ready would leave the two on the pink spot to the left corner. But this is a good opportunity for Graham Dot. 35. 40. I think he got a very bad rap when he won the World Championship because it was a, a late finish to that final. 48. By and large, he's swift. Prefers to play that way. 53. So it began, became a war of attrition. As I said earlier, I think he's a better player now than he was then. ahead. Brown makes it 33, so one more red and a colour after this. Mm, not the best shot. 58. I think he could have got much closer to this red there. down in the first frame by stretching on a red and missing it. Right, no it's problem nine. this time. Pink to leave his opponent needing a snooker. I would say you'd always love to pot the remaining red just to make sure stop your opponent coming to the table. Two snookers, two four point snookers 65. needed. A really hard working well crafted break. Sixty-eight. 
anyone who 17. underestimates Graham Dot does so at their peril. Graham Dot 70 and a frame. The nod of concession from Ronnie O'Sullivan with a break of 70. Graham Dot impressively ties the scores. The distances of the matches now increase. After a few days of seeing best of seven frame snooker with no intervals, it's now best of nine. A little more leeway. In this one, nothing to choose between them. First two frames have been traded. And in a moment or two, that's going to be the case as well over on table two, where Gary Wilson is just about to equalise against Tom Ford. Foul. Ronald Sullivan, four. So, red to left corner, I mean, not only does he want to get position on the black, he wants an angle on the black to be able to split the pack. One. Mm. Holding for a bolt colour, beautiful shot, and he's got the perfect angle on the brown. Wants to miss the pink. Generate enough pace. Five. The cue ball. The way he potted that red would give him a lot of confidence. It's a beautiful shot. In the opening frame, dots in off to that top left hand pocket was his closing shot of the frame. Thankfully, from his perspective, he's going to get back to the table this time. He's a real shrewdy, Graham Dot. Struck that one on the nose. Appreciated by O'Sullivan. Society out there at the moment. Yes, more tapping of the table in the last two minutes out there than you did in your career, Stephen. <laughs> of yours when you went into the pack and dropped on nothing and gave it the big sarcastic thumbs up that was the trademark yeah real bundle of laughs that was 
No path back to bulk. So at the containing safety shot. Been real tough match snooker so far in these first couple of frames. Yet to see the flamboyant snooker sentry breaks. It's real hard fought snooker. Well, that was a, a mystery. One. Proper shot. Judging the cannon in the second red perfectly. Two reds that are just above and to the left of the black. I don't know it's a natural angle. The top one, just to flick it half ball. Just a little soft cannon. Hmm. Is he on? Hey. Anything? Well, looks like he's looking to one of these reds to the right corner. One closest to the black. None. So he's won the the tactical battle. Graham, can he now capitalize? Eleven. Twelve. Isn't missing much. Fifteen. 
16. Twenty-three. Going north. Twenty-three. be on the receiving end of only 23 points there. I think O'Sullivan will be relieved. Needs cover. Not there. The path past the green is clear. Ball just travelled enough. Eleven. Twelve. Swinging the cue ball round to avoid the 19. red and come off a couple of cushions. Dropped it on a sixpence. Twenty. Twenty eighth. He's got confidence, Dot. He's got desire. That makes him dangerous.
crowd at the Centaur Crazy. Arena in Cheltenham. They've Crazy. come to see Ronnie O'Sullivan predominantly this evening, but right now they're being given an exhibition of hard match play snooker by that man, O'Sullivan's opponent this evening, Graham Dodd, who's two on ahead. O'Sullivan yet to flow, not being given the chance, really. Yeah, it's a bit like they're waiting. A football match, isn't it? Keeping the crowd quiet. Playing their, their type of game. It's another little safety battle here. Who's going to get better of their opponent? Sullivan can take this red on to the right corner. He stuns the cue ball across to near that left middle pocket. I think the only red he could leave is the one he, he takes on. Doesn't look like anything pots from that side of the table. I don't think he wants to get drawn into long safety battles all the time. He needs to be a bit more aggressive. He's taking it on. Foul. Mm, that's unlucky. <coughs> See if the cue ball had stayed near that middle pocket. Graham wouldn't Graham be able to get to this red. Hit it well. going according to the script this O'Sullivan normally the the leading man is playing a support role at the moment Black is Graham Dot going for? The only colour he could see. Graham Dot one.
Another frame over on table two. Tom Ford's regained the lead 2-1 over Gary Wilson. Foul. Ronnie O'Sullivan, full. No damage done in terms of leaving a pot on. Ronnie may take the double on as a kind of shot to nothing to the left middle. Kind of half hearted attempt. I'd like to put the cue ball glued to that ball cushion. So red to left corner. Probably play it with a bit of right hand side. But check side just to take the cue ball. Or keep the cue ball away from the reds. Smile. Ronnie Cubo's just finished in an awkward position. And he could put the blue in the middle, place a cannon. It's quite a big target, the red, pink, sorry, and the two reds either side of it. I would hold the cue ball in the middle of the table. Six. Seven. Thirteen. That shot was nicely timed. Again, it could play the little can in the red next to the pink spot. Eighteen. It's just awkward. It's pink's out of commission. Black's out of commission. It's just a lot of work to do with the cue ball. Nineteen. Nice shot. Right side of the blue. Can pretty much put the cue ball wherever he wants from here. In the first frame of the evening session of the German Masters final last Sunday. 
Jeff 24. Trump started his surge to the line with a 54 break, which was really well executed, five. given that he potted nine reds and nine blues. Similar scenario here. Pink and black, not ideal. 30. Now that he's 31. potted that red that was near the pink spot, if he does get the chance, he'll play for the pink. Get that back into play. Possibly here. Play for a red to left corner. Thirty six. Forty-three. You can see Ronnie waiting for the black to be spotted to check if it goes to the right corner, which it does. <coughs> There's a lot of getting down to the shot, getting up from the shot, grimacing. It's hard work this break has been. And up again. <laughs> the great benefit of being truly ambidextrous. That shot's oh, ideal for someone who can switch hands. This black is mighty tight. What do you think, Stephen? I don't think it will go. No, it's a safety shot. Sandy had to work really, really hard for these points that he's accumulated. Ronnie O'Sullivan. <laughs> What a cracking shot that was. OK, you might say he didn't get one half of the shot right in the sense that he didn't put the green on the side cushion, but the snooker itself was pure silk. Not normally his cup of tea, this kind of play, Stephen, but he seems to have embraced the the tactical nuances this evening. Forty-three. 
yeah, he's been. It's just the way the the balls have developed. It's he's been brought into this game tonight by his opponent. Fully prepared to do what's required, whether it be the tactical side or the potting side. Foul. Graham at four. So often he makes the game look very easy. Not so tonight so far. done very well Eighth. to get as close as he has to this red and that's an excellent Nine. shot with the rest he would love to have an angle in the black to follow through and nudge the pink and red and stay on the other two to the left corner. And didn't have the angle. Or if he had the angle, he didn't feel he wanted to take the risk of forcing 16. it. Seventeen. He has this time. He's gone just an inch too far. That's the shot he wanted to play. So we'll put the black and some sort of cannon on the pink, which you would think would automatically promote the red towards this right corner pocket. I think you have to. Let me make sure you don't hit the pink full ball because you could snooker yourself. Sullivan played that snooker but didn't get the green safe. He wishes the green was safe now. 33. Graham Dodd hasn't beaten Ronnie O'Sullivan in a world ranking event for 13 years. I'm just beginning to wonder whether this is the night. Forty. You 
seen again the reaction I want it to be straighter on this yellow Should make it easier to get nicely on this green because he wants to get as close to the green as possible because it's not as easy a pot as it looks on the screen Forty-two. Well, he was disappointed at first when the double went in because he thought he'd gone too far with the cue ball, but he's got a chance at this to the left middle. What a break this has been. It's the kind of clearance that O'Sullivan himself would have been proud of. 54. And just the pink for a 3 1 lead at the interval, and fully deserved. Ronnie O'Sullivan has got plenty to ponder. Wee Dotty is coming up big. He leads 3-1. Well, he finds himself in a spot of bother. It's first to five, remember, to reach the semi finals. Graham Dot's been on a terrific run of late. He got to the semis in Germany just last week and ran Judd Trump very close. Trump had to be on his game to see him off there, 6 4. So he's come into this tournament full of confidence. And he must be on a bit of a high as he comes back in after that terrific clearance. But there's still a possible five frames to come, and he knows all about what O'Sullivan can do. Well, wow. it's like we never had the interval. What a terrific pop to start the second half. He's going to need another one, though. Dot one. <clears throat> yeah, as I say, the black was not straightforward. Remember O'Sullivan last night had three centuries, albeit in a match he could very well have lost. Nine. First clan's going into the pack here. Not going to be easy to get a lot of reds moving. See, it was just one that was going to punch out. That was always going to be an issue. 16. Nine. 
Not a lot he could do about it. Sometimes the shape of the pack dictates what you can do. Oliver Sullivan, 16. Solving four. Interesting how Sullivan didn't take the miss. He thought he could get Dotty more trouble, but he caught his safety a little thick, and now he's in trouble. Snookered. Wants to get the bunch high with this cue ball. The one that drifting south and that loose red at the back. See, he's gone in the high side. Good shot, that. All right, he's not. Foul and a miss. Got it, but now he's got the line. I expect him to get it second time of asking. Just to say, they have resumed on table two. Tom Ford and Gary Wilson are two each there. Remember, it's now best of nine to reach the semi-finals. The respective winners will play each other. Danger first time round, wasn't it? Drifting south, he's left the red. Good chance. One. We saw in that clearance that Dot made in frame four what a difference a strong temperament makes in this sport. We saw last night Liang Wenbo really struggle in that decider, but Graham Dot just fancied it, didn't he? Seems to be where he comes into his element when the pressure's on. Six. Yeah, he's not beaten O'Sullivan for nine years, although in that period, it must be said, they've only actually played five times. It's not like they've played every week. Even so, there'll be some real drubbings amongst those defeats. 4-1, 4-1, 5-0, 4-0, 6-1. So you may feel it's sort of he's due a win. choice this he, the straight reds a wee bit dangerous coming back for pink so going up top side of blue that's a clever shot 13 making sure he's got a couple of options Mm, now he does have the angle. Uh, dropping that lone red. Oh, 
Uh, he's playing with the one behind the black spot. Gets this to slow up. Mm, that's a wee bit of a mini mistake there, so recovery needed. 24. The good <coughs> thing about this, he should get top side of blue off it. The Sullivan fans in the audience finding their voice. Yeah, Dot just put himself under pressure and he left himself on the red. The green is just a little in the way here. Foul. Rainbow four. Of course, if that red had rolled along the rail into the opposite corner, that's a legal shot, but it's flown off the table. Some work on the cue ball, I think. Gonna have to just slightly bend it, touch your right, right hand side. Yes, it did. Yellow and brown, quite a big target. He'll be trying to get in between the two of them, this cue ball. Which he's done, but just overcooked it. And mm, he didn't bank on that red releasing to the right wing, so it's a test of cueing. He's four out of eight tonight on long potting, O'Sullivan. Beautiful shot. That's more like it. Because he's under pressure in this match. He's trailing. He's not finding his best game. Graham Dot is very, very determined. But Ronnie O'Sullivan is in here in frame five. Seventeen. Yeah, that was uh, a bit jorish, <laughs> and uh, he knows it. Wasn't clean in the middle of the pocket. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-nine. Twenty-four. 
30. He's not had many gifts tonight from Graham. So, 3 1 down, obviously. Going out from the interval. This will be gladly accepted because, as I say, Graham's been exemplary in all departments tonight. So he's just checking the scoreboard and that's what it 45. tells him that this is effectively frame ball to pull one back. 46. Got him with that terrific long red. Keeps on checking the scores. Graham got my well play on here. 39 behind, 27 on. Extension. Frame conceded. Oh, frame well, to Ronnie O'Sullivan. <laughs> he's not going to play on. He's back. <laughs>
17. Twenty. Yeah, here's that black again. <laughs> Didn't look it, but what a shot. Now, just looking at the pink there, I think he, he, he'll want to leave that as long as he can. He'd like to get the blue back in its spot. So that's clever. Played for Brown. 21. If he gets top side of blue, he'll play it. Not this time. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. <coughs> Little nestle cannon. Just a soft one onto the left one of those reds. Just push them out as well. Didn't take much, did it? He's got them all exactly where he wants them now. Thirty-three. Couple of mistakes by Graham. Coming out from the interval. <clears throat> yeah, just a couple of safeties that weren't quite on point, offering up these chances. And a little spring in O'Sullivan's step now. He's just starting to click into life. 41. Just slightly awkward now over the top of the red. Fifteen. No problem though. Fifty-six. Fifty-seven. Little glance at the scores. 64. This break's been going five and a half minutes. He needs red and colour. Should be three-three. Sixty-five. Yeah, and best of nine, obviously, tonight, as frame ball goes in. And of course, what we've had a week long, best of sevens. Different feel to the match. And, uh, you know, 73. More of a story to tell and ebb and flow. Graham dominating. Early on. Yeah, and what you don't get at a best of seven is an interval. So although Doc made that terrific 80. clearance, and it was brilliant to lead 3-1, O'Sullivan at least... Had 15 minutes just to collect his thoughts. Ninety-five. So, a great turnaround here, and it just underlined with this century. Oh, 
Trent's a uh, high break target. He's safe, 138. But O'Sullivan not thinking about that right now. He's missed that one, but even so, 102. So here we go, frame seven, O'Sullivan's won the last two. Frame seven. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. Yeah, so Graham, having been made to sit in his chair most of the last couple of frames, he'd be mindful of, especially early on in this frame, first two or three shots, don't give anything, don't give any more freebies as it were lining up this red naturally we'll take it on the black not this time mm, he may have left the red to right middle a little wince by graham in the chair it looks like he has done not a sitter not by any means is always the, or usually the case when he gets momentum. It takes quite a lot of wrestling it back from him. He's off and running again. Oh, that was a gorgeous shot to find that little gap there. Eighth. No. Sixteen. Seventeen. This is, I think, a nice angle under the pink. Doesn't have to hit this all that hard. Get the juice in the cue ball to hold the cue ball off the pink. Oh, what a shot. That's unlucky. Very, very unfortunate. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 17. It really is, and it could be huge as well. We'll see. He was just starting to take control of this match. Graham Dot presented with a chance himself, and you can see that O'Sullivan is furious. Frame really was at his mercy, had that red not flown in. <clears throat> Question with this shot, how much, if any, does he have to work the cue ball? Yeah, he's got the butt up, and you see this makes it at least mm, probably three times as difficult. Big shot there, especially with the red up table as well. What a shot, great response. For having sat out for some time, the last couple of frames. Yes, and what he's seen while he's sat there is that O'Sullivan is taking chances 
that's coming his way. So Graham Dot will feel that he's got to make the most of this. Taking his time over this and, and with good reason. If this green goes in, expect to be on a red and a decent chance to put. Oh, that's clever as well. What he did there was he played it three cushions so that he would make the pot easier. Four. What a clever shot that was. He didn't want to play a little stroke and holding shot. He wanted to punch it in. Played to his strengths. Five. He loves punching it. Yeah, he's a great competitor, Graham Dot. But uh, I heard you saying earlier, Alan, and it's true. You know, off table, <laughs> he's great fun. You might not think it watching him because he's intense, of course, when he's out there in the heat of battle. But he's got a terrific deadpan sense of humour, Graham Dot. But when it's out there, it's war, isn't it? As it should be. Twelve. Twenty. Twenty one. What he's been working on the last probably two, two and a half years, Graham Dot, is it may sound quite simple. All he's trying to do 37. is be able to hit the cue ball in the middle. Simple as that. I know that sounds very simplistic, but you don't see Graham play a lot of shots with a lot of side. It's just a trace of side all the time. That's why I say that anything around straight, punching anything, I fancy him knocking it in because he's now very comfortable that he is hitting the middle of the cue ball. 44. You can see that he's confident, can't you? He gets in, he looks super positive. 45. Even this kind of shot, I think he would... You know, a lot of players would just drop this in. I wonder, I mean, he might still do that, but being more punchy, he may play this couple of cushions for the red just near his bridge hand. No, he's not. He's just dropping it, so... Mm. Not sure, done the right thing, get back up, reset. <coughs> oh, no good. When he's rolling them in, he's not as comfortable as he is when he's punching them. reason why he's so disappointed is because of the quality of his opponent. Yes, he's 40 in front, but he knows that the counter-attack is likely should he give us a love and a sniff. Yeah, this is crucial that he covers the red by the left cushion as he pushes one safe. Red dot, 52.
Foul. The reason thing about that is the red's gone back onto the cushion. He's trying to bring it into play. Graham Dot has a long red to go at. He's leading by 44. This is a sort of shot I was meaning. Just off straight, punching it. One of the shots you... I, I, personally, because I spend a lot of time with him, I fancy him getting this. Pressure on it, but as David said, he does have a couple of reds near cushion, so that eases the pain. There you go. Leather. Oh. Well, it's a little cut back, but if he pots the black, as we see him crunch the red in, if he pots the black, he's 52 in front with 51 on. He's got, a, as, as we've said, a couple of reds safe, just to slightly take the pressure off this shot. This black and snooker's required, otherwise Dot's 4-3 up. Nicely done. Of course, Ronnie O'Sullivan was in, went into the pack. A red went in. That's where it went wrong for him in this frame. And uh, he had all the momentum to that point from the interval, but he's in a bit of a hole again. Well, needed that in because it's one snooker, so this frame not his yet. That could put another 20 minutes on this frame, and, and indeed, he's not won the frame yet. This goes in, he basically has. Quite a big ask, this, but if he can promote this red. And he has. And in such a way where he can get back round for black. He'll be chasing black six. because at 46 behind, he needs one snooker and two blacks to win by a point with the colours, obviously. So he'll be playing for black off this. And if he gets anywhere near straight on it, you'd fancy him getting a snooker. Not straight, he's going to have to go round the houses, but another big shot coming up then. Round the houses. Three cushions, maybe four in between yellow-brown, just looking to see whether he can hold. Play the snooker the other way. Looking at that picture, he probably, probably can. That's no good. Mm, 14. Yeah. Well, I say it's no good. It, one of the dangers of this is potting the red in the right middle. And he's played it a different way. Got the snooker. Good shot. Fancy Graham hitting it. 14. It's amazing how all this anguish he could have avoided Dot if he just bodied that red. We know we talk about frame ball, but sometimes it's the next couple actually more important. Red stayed out, and now he is in the snooker. Yeah, Graham being Graham, he'll consider all outcomes here. If he misses the red, yes, Ronnie can win. A, don't leave a free ball, and B, obviously don't leave a pot. Yeah, good hit. <laughs> what a touch. <laughs> what a touch.
Another thing in this situation Graham's got to be mindful of is not leave a pot in the red. Don't leave a pot, red, black, cue ball up behind the yellow, or even pot the yellow and in behind the green for a snooker in tight behind that brown. So that's the last thing Graham will be doing, as you see. He's just making sure he doesn't leave a pot on while trying to get the snooker. No. So, foul. now Sullivan can win this frame. Probably with Sullivan four. Well, we saw Dot's reaction when he missed that red. Initially, the pot, I mean, earlier, which set all this up. He just kind of knew that pain was coming his way. Yeah, although... <laughs> Graham has missed the red, he's actually been quite fortunate. It's one of those situations, this, that crops up from time to time where Ronnie will feel if he puts Graham back in, he'll probably come to the table next time and be snookered. See, he doesn't really want to ask Graham to play again, even though he doesn't have much of a shot on. Probably just push the red past the left middle pocket and try and use the yellow as a blocker. No, oh, the worst thing possible. He's disgusted, throws the spider on the table. So he got the penalty points he was looking for, but he's gifted the frame to Graham, but he cannot believe it. One. Gives everyone hope though, doesn't it? Because most people would say he's the best player ever. He's made a huge mistake. And Graham Dot must be so relieved. What was weird, though, was even though Dot had Six. failed to get out the snooker, in some ways he had the advantage for the reasons Alan explained. Ronnie was left with this, and that's what happened. No. Something about this tournament, they're wringing every last scrap of drama out of it. We saw it this afternoon with the Wilson-Trump match. We're seeing it again here this evening. But once 13. again, it's advantage Graham Dot. Eighteen. Twenty-four. So Graham Dodd has won the seventh frame. The seven frame. He yeah, stops yeah. the O'Sullivan charge. Ted coming in vastly favoured Ronnie O'Sullivan, 16 5. It's won the last five meetings, stretching back nine years. And in all that time, we've only actually played one decider. That was back 20 years ago now in the Scottish Open. O'Sullivan won that one 6 5. Just 
over two hours playing time. Quality safety shot that quite get the cover. Key ball half ball should arc round the other red. See it? Oh, that's a bonus and a full ball kiss. Oh, sorry, thought the red was in. He's covered it. But it's quite a big pocket. looked at red but staying out as I say choices well he fancies the one just off straight similar to that long ready crashed in the last frame once again the sweet sound of leather he's off again here Dotty this time though cue ball drifting close to the side cushion still lots to do Type of situation this, you know, you won the one frame away from beating O'Sullivan. You've got to try and stay positive, aggressive. And he is. Six. Graham Dot's face is doing its own commentary on this match, reacting to not being ideal on anything. <coughs> oh, this looks a great shot. What bottle he's got. Seven. And that could be the big difference between him and some of the other players here playing O'Sullivan. Stats good for Dot. Basically, seven out of ten. <coughs> the way Graham's played that there seems to be quite happy that the red's not oh. quite touching the cushion, so. Shouldn't be a problem with this. Pink goes. Obviously playing for blue here. It's quite a nice shot, this, because you undercook it, you've got the pink. You overcook it. Well, it's played up and down. Full ball in the brown's nice. Well, that's perfect. 13. Got his reward for playing a good percentage shot. Now, side cushion, side cushion the red and the left wing perhaps Sixteen. 
17. Just noticed before there, the red on the pink spot does go, but just get maybe too much angle to play it. That's clever as well. The bottom one of the bunch goes and the one that's loose. And he's on the bottom one. 22. Played it nicely. Remember, if O'Sullivan loses tonight, then he's going to have to get something substantial out of the Welsh Open and the shootout if we're going to see him in Southport for the next Coral Series event, the Players' Championship. Yeah, that was clever, because he knew those two reds together would go to right middle. Now everything's in the open. 30. Genuine chance to win the match. Yes, there's still a long way to go. But the way he's played all week long. Hold himself together, you fancy him. 31. Well, I interviewed him last night and he was saying about playing Ronnie. He said, so many players crumble against him. He says, I've done it plenty of times. He's not done it tonight. He's got to just stand tall for the next five, ten minutes here. And it would be for him a terrific win, underlining how well he's been playing of late. <coughs> 37. one of those punchy shots he'll enjoys. 38. Just off straight. Well controlled. <laughs> 45. Six. Um, if he does go on to win, the signs have been there all season long. You see the roll call of the players that have beaten him this season in 52. big tournaments here. Murphy, Ding, Judd Trump twice, 53. Robertson. Stephen Maguire, John Higgins. That's the quality it's taken to beat him for the majority of the season. 60 in front then, two reds. 60. And the job, a great job, will be well and truly done. This has been a fabulous 61. performance. I say it's been coming, it's been in the offing, the way he's been playing. Well, what a way to win it. One break, one visit. Graham Dot is such 68. a great competitor. And as I said, he's got great bottle. And Ronnie O'Sullivan, as I say, he's going to have to get something out of the Welsh and the shootout to make it into the Players' Championship. A tournament that 69. he won in sensational style last year. Of course, in Preston, making his 1,000th career century along the way. He could have lost in the first two rounds, they were both deciders, but no decider tonight. Graham Dodd has denied him with a terrific break to win it. Seventy-four. Both Sullivan did say before the match on current form, Dot was favourite. Seventy-five. He seemed to be getting it back together again. There was that key moment in the last frame when he went into the pack and a red went in off the blue. That stopped him. And then, of course, that mistake he made, having got the snooker as well, leaving the red on. 82. 
but tonight you can only credit Graham Dot for the way he stood tall and finished it off in style. Yeah, it's been the culmination of a lot of hard work. I say I'm cl quite close to Graham, and I know how hard he's worked. In a bit of soul searching as well. A couple of years ago, completely changed a few things in his game. Ninety. And he's reaping the benefits of that hard work.